Hi, it's Mats from Epic Gamers United. In this video, you're going to learn how to play auto chess in five minutes. These are the three topics I'm going to talk about in today's video. Auto chess is a game that spawned from a Dota mod. That's pretty cool because Dota itself was a Warcraft 3 mod. So the characters you see are all inspired from Warcraft 3 characters. Auto chess is an auto battler. You buy units, you dump them onto the chessboard, and you watch them fight. If you get the same unit, you can merge them into stronger units. The game is not pay to win, and you only buy cosmetic items with real money. Games are typically 25 to 40 minutes long. You can play solo in an 8 player free for all, or you can play with a mate and battle it out with three other teams. Does anyone recognize these characters from Dota if you're a Dota player? Let's jump into the game mechanics. So, you start with some money, and you can do two things with money in this game. The first thing you can do with money is buy experience. One dollar buys one experience points. When you have enough points, you level up. And when you level up, you increase the number of maximum uh, units that you're allowed on the board. The more chess pieces, the better your chances of winning. The second thing you do with money is to buy units. There are five tiers of units and you have a high chance of buying crappy units at the start of the game and powerful game-changing units towards the late game. There's always five units you can buy from the shop. If you see something you like, you can buy them as long as you have space. If you don't have space, you'd have to sell a unit to make space. Generally speaking, you want to try and buy units that are of the same class so they get the bonuses. Once you've picked up the class that you pick the class that you're going for, you try and find duplicates in the shop. Bonuses can give your team huge buffs to help you win the game. But what happens if you want to refresh the shop or you don't like what you see in the shop, so you want to refresh, you have to pay two dollars. And but if you don't, if you can hold and just sort of hold your money and don't spend, then your money will earn interest the next round and the shop will refresh again. Finally, there are free items that drop every 10 rounds after you battle an NPC. Um, and with the items, you install the items or you merge these items and put them onto the chess pieces and that will maximize their effectiveness on the board. Before you jump back into the game, let me walk you through the user interface to ensure that you haven't missed anything. On the right here, this is your chess player, that's you. And on the left, that's your health. When your health goes to zero, then you lose the game. On the bottom, you will see your bench. This is where your units are not in play, but you're trying to build three of the same type to level them up. Um, your active chess pieces are the ones that are on the board and fighting. On the right hand side, you can see the active chess pieces on your board and the damage that they've done to the opponent. The yellow bar shows the ability damage and the grey bar shows the physical damage. There's only two types of damage in this game and items can either amplify your ability damage or amplify your physical damage. Likewise for defense items. On the top right hand side you can see your synergies that are active. Units on the bench don't contribute to synergies. If you click the synergy you will see a description of what that synergy does. You can see that I've clicked the white one. Generally speaking, you will need two, four, or six units, or three, six, and nine units in order to trigger the synergy effects. If you have five units, you're gonna trigger the four unit synergy. In the top right hand corner, you can see how much money you've got. If you click the money symbol, you can see how much interest or win streak money you're going to get. In the bottom, you can see how much experience you've currently got. I've currently got 2 out of 18 experience. So if I need to level up 
I'm going to need to spend another $16. At the end of each NPC round, you will get to choose one item from the three item choices, as long as you beat the NPCs of course. If you lose, you'll be forced to take a random item that the AI is going to give you. Tap on the armor icon to see your full inventory of items and who is wearing them. You can move items between different chess pieces at any time, but once the battle has started, none of the item effects will show until the next round. Pressing spacebar or tapping on that icon will take you to the shop and you can go to the shop at any point in time whether it's in a battle or after a battle. There you have it, I think I've taught you enough to give this game a try. If you haven't downloaded this free game yet, why not give it a go? If you want more detailed help, please be sure to check out our basic series. I hope this video has explained something you didn't know about auto chess. If you do like the video, please like, comment or subscribe. Until then, see you later.